Ghost Effects Wizardry helps Slimer visit his favorite haunts. One year after Poltergeist, Edlund opened his own visual effects company, Boss Film Studios, and found himself right back in the ghost business. In August of 83, Boss Film was born. We're off and running on Ghostbusters, which we had just 10 months to do. Not a long time to materialize a bizarre group of ghouls born in the mind of comedian Dan Aykroyd. They are unhappy, vicious, hostile. But they're mainly... like relatives at a funeral, making outrageous demands of your time and sensibility. Exactly. Early in the film, the Ghostbusters encounter the apparition of an elderly librarian, which suddenly metamorphoses into a hideous spook. <laughs> to accomplish the effect, the boss crew took a life cast or body mold of the actress playing the librarian. This became the basis for an animatronic double engineered by effects designer Steve Johnson. What I did on this is I had the neck stretch and sink and move forward, the head flatten, the eyes sink back in the sockets, the jaw unhinge and swing forward. The clothes were also rigged to tear off as this happened. It was all cable controlled thing and it was all operated by one person. Ready? Get her! Ghostbusters most memorable apparition was a mischievous spewer of ectoplasm named Slimer. He slimed me. In reality, the ghost was puppeteer Mark Wilson inside a suit of one inch thick foam latex. Wilson's waist and legs, covered in black, would disappear when the film was later combined with location photography. Off-camera puppeteers controlled Slimer's facial expressions via cables which necessitated his being performed from a fixed position. To create the illusion of flying, the camera was pushed on dolly tracks up to Slimer, making it appear that he was charging toward the camera. Please, ready? There's a scene where he's very tired after running away from the Ghostbusters and he's panting and flying around the chandelier. We just built a big turntable that the puppeteers could actually ride on. Boss Film's innovative designs and special effects techniques helped make Ghostbusters one of the 80s biggest hits, reconfirming the special place held by ghosts in cinematic history. Ghosts and American humor are linked forever by uh, groups like uh, the Bowery Boys, Abbott and Costello, uh, Bob Hope. So we're just doing the modern version of the old time ghost movies. In 1995, a quartet of spooks arrived that even a Ghostbuster couldn't handle. Who are you gonna call? Someone else. 